everyone. I hope you all are fine. So I'm back with yet another uh, very interesting class on SciPy. And in my previous class, I have uh, shown you how to solve the first order ODE. And then I have uh, uh, solved the second order ordinary differential equation. And I have uh, uh, shown you how to solve the damped harmonic motion. Well, I have few queries regarding damped harmonic motion solution, which I'll uh, say just now and uh, uh, then move on to our next thing. Today we will do uh, the Lorentz curve. Well, uh, for uh, I hope you remember that uh, for second order differential equation, what we had done is that we had just split it up the second order differential equation into two first order ODE. And over here, you can see that I have, uh, is my board visible? Okay, so I have considered here uh, three sets of first order ordinary differential equations. So this is my first equation, this is my second equation, and this is my third equation. And these three uh, first order coupled differential equations are used to form the Lorentz curve. The so first equation is that dx dt is equal to sigma y minus x. And these sigma, this rho and beta are the parameters, uh, the values I will say uh, what to set and all. And then dy dt is equal to x rho minus z minus y. And dx dt is xy minus beta z. So uh, just uh, today we'll see how to solve this beautiful Lorentz curve in Python using SciPy, okay? And I'm just moving on to my uh, Python shell, IPython shell. Is my screen visible now? Okay, since uh, some of you have sent me some queries regarding our previous day's problem, that is on damped harmonic motion, a uh, few of you have asked me uh, that uh, uh, why have I written this part x equal to sol and colon and all this thing. And some question was that uh, why have I taken the initial values uh, in this format u not equal to 1 not 1 comma uh, 0. So I'm just going to explain. First thing, uh, I have taken this uh, function SHM as a user defined function SHM of UT. Okay, and the argument U is a list which has two components that is X and Y. So that X and Y are values of U. So U of naught is equal to X and U of one is equal to Y, as I've written over here. Okay. Now the initial values are x naught is equal to one and y naught is equal to one. So we have to put this thing in the format of list. And for that I have taken this u naught is equal to one comma zero, where one represents x naught and zero is the value of y naught. Okay. I hope this is clear now. And finally, this part, uh, some of you have asked me uh, why I have written in this manner and all. Well, in the solution, we get a pair of values for each t value. That means we get two columns as a NumPy array. So to extract the first and the second columns, we use NumPy array syntaxes as this colon comma zero and colon comma one respectively. I hope this part is clear to you all. And if you have any more queries, please don't hesitate. Just drop in your queries. Uh, you can uh, post your queries in my Instagram or in my Facebook page. I would be happy to answer them all. Okay. Thank you. And now I'm opening a new shell, uh, sorry, a new file. And I'll begin a uh, or this Lorentz curve. So I have taken three uh, uh, first order coupled uh, differential equations. And uh, so beginning with that, we have to first name this program as Lorentz curve. Okay. And you can also write uh, for your uh, convenience that I'm solving this, solving with O-D-E-I-N-T, okay? 
basic things once again you have to import all the uh, libraries so import numpy as np and then import scipy as sorry 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 import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay yes Yes, you have to import ODE INT from SciPy into Gate. So uh, you can write there as well, but I have written it in this format. So SciPy dot integrate import ODE INT. Okay. Thank you for saying this. Okay. Now is it visible? Thank you. So over here again you have to uh, write all the parameters uh, so over here i have sigma i hope you remember i have rho value and i have beta now uh, one uh, let me uh, write you one thing over here tell you one thing that uh, in a previous uh, program also have seen that i have written lamb for lambda and over here i'm writing sig for sigma and rho for uh, rho in, in format of words you have to Keep this in mind, okay? And I'm setting the values of, uh, say, sigma as ten, and uh, and uh, rho as say twenty eight, okay? And uh, uh, say beta as maybe like eight by three, okay? So I'm taking as eight by three, okay? Now you have to define the function. So define shm of u comma t i hope this line is quite clear now and you have x y and z three equations and the values would be u of uh, zero comma u of one and u of two so write accordingly u of one and u of two okay next is a uh, dx dt was what sigma into y minus x okay i hope y minus was, was uh, y minus x was in uh, brackets so you have to write as dx dt and sigma so write it in words so sig star open first bracket and you have y minus x this was my first equation the second one was dy dt equal to x into uh, you have to open a bracket over here and you have rho minus z i hope you remember so rho minus z and also the bracket there was minus y so minus y okay final was dz dt and it's like xy minus beta z so you have to write in words beta into z so star and z finally you have to write return the values so return dx dt comma dy dt and dz dt so this is my defining the function part is over okay now you have to set the values so like previous one where we had set up for uh, damped uh, motion u not uh, as one and zero so that means one zero was x naught and y naught over here i write u naught equal to i'll write say zero comma one and let's take as zero so i have considered uh, x naught y naught and z naught values okay i'll follow it. okay then i'll similarly consider the t values so I'll make that in the format of list with the help of list space 
using linspace okay so linspace uh, let's consider a, a larger a number of points okay so let's consider zero comma hundred comma say yes one sorry says yes, one two three four okay so ten thousand points after that uh, is the solution part so solution is equal to odeint of shm comma u naught comma and t okay then x comma y comma z is equal to you can write it in different line i'm writing in the same line because in my previous problem i have written x uh, then y in different line i have to consider it over here as in the same line no issues so sol you have to write as uh, comma zero okay Whichever way you find convenient, you can use. Okay. It is actually saving a line and time as well. That's why. So comma one and sol. The final one was comma two. Okay. So zero, one and two. Up till now, it's okay. Any queries? There are no queries in the chat box, so I'm proceeding. Okay, so the final part is the plotting section. So you have to write plt dot plot, and I'm going to plot over here x comma z comma. Uh, you can give all those uh, detailings in your program, like the uh, line with the color according to your choice whatever i'm taking over here one is to show you uh, for example so i'm considering the color and then the line width say as 0.5 okay and it's plt plt dot show okay so this is my entire program of Lorentz curve where I have considered three first order coupled differential equations. Now you just uh, save your program and let's see how the nature of the curve turns out to be. Okay, so I'm saving my program. So I have saved my program as Lorentz curve and I'm just hitting the run button and let's check out what it turns out to be. Uh oh, I have error over here. So just see what are the errors and then uh, check and do, okay? So it is showing that uh, global name X, Y. Uh oh, so I have made a mistake in this line. So just drop in a multiple sign and rerun the program okay now the curve is shown over here so this is my lorenz curve and it is the solution of three first order differential equation i have considered 10000 values and so it is showing me in this format you can change the color and the uh, also the the line width and see how it turns out to be okay thank you all for this wonderful uh, class and all you are, you are very patient students <laughs> and uh, i'm very happy with the progress you're making so keep learning with me okay and share your queries and also uh, let me know about the feedbacks and all okay thank you stay safe